In this video, we're going to cover how to design your digital business card profile page and take you step by step through the different features of the latest update. Hi, I'm Ihab Salah from Melunga, by far the best digital business card solution and experience. Let's jump into it. Log into your Melunga account and click Add Device on the Manage Devices page. If you are new to Malunga, check how it works under About Us on Malunga.com to learn how to set up your device from scratch. Here, I want to add a device, so I'm going to click Add Device. Scratch the silver on the back of the insert to reveal the code and type in the device code here. Click Add Device. This is going to take us to the device settings page, where you can give your device a friendly name to identify it from other devices you already have on the device management page. Let's say we are going to give it the name Matt Didion. Your card is now automatically activated. In the event your card is lost and you don't want anyone to misuse it, click here to deactivate it by putting it on inactive mode. Here you can choose to make your profile public and allow Google and other search engines to crawl your profile and index it, although not recommended for personal profiles. Here we have some advanced settings which we will not cover in this video. What we are learning today is how to design our profile page and what are the different features available. But going briefly through the advanced settings, you can click here to link your card to a direct URL like a website or a landing page. Or link the card to go to another profile already in your device management page. Or you can link your card to a PDF file you upload here. This can be your restaurant menu, company profile, product catalog or whatever marketing material you have. Now. Let's make sure you have selected Create and Use a Profile page, and now we will click Save and Edit Profile page. This will take us to the Profile Editor page. The Profile Edit consists of three sections. On top, we have the Contact Details. At the bottom, we have the Social Media Links, and sandwiched in between is our powerful block editor that allows you to add all sorts of marketing content to your profile. Let's start by adding our contact details, starting by changing our profile picture and adding our name and title. Click on the Malunga logo, click the X to delete it, and browse to select your logo on profile image. Type in your name and title. I will use here Matt Didion name as our Benelux area manager. Then we are going to click here to add the contact details. You don't have to fill in everything, just fill in the details that are applicable to you and you don't mind sharing with others. As you see, you can fill in your WhatsApp number and add a predefined message. Remember, all phone numbers should be in the international format starting with plus and country code. Your Viber, email and subject, phone, mobile and other telephone if needed. You can add a fax number that will only appear on the vCard. Facebook Messenger, Skype, website, company name and address. Keep this box checked if you wish to save the URL address of this profile on the vCard. We click Done. Now, as you see, this has created my contact details with Add to Contact button that people will click to save my details on their phone. To change the background image, colors and fonts, click on the gear next to the Save button. You can delete the current background image and replace it with your own. Or you can choose to have a solid or gradient color background. Let's say I want to choose a gradient color from white to light gray. From this page as well, you can choose to add a drop shadow on the boxes. 
or select a different font from a selection of Google fonts. To change the text and button colors, click on the Custom Colors tab and you will be able to change the colors by keying in the hex code or selecting from the predefined colors. We move on to add our social media. Once you click here, you will be prompted to enter your social media details. You only need to put your social media username, except for YouTube, LinkedIn, Angelist, Discord and Twitch, where you are required to enter the full URL. Add whatever applies to you, then click Done. The Block Editor is a featureful tool that allows you to add all sorts of marketing material to your profile page. You can add text, title with text, button, image post, image button, image carousel, circular image, RSS feed, a countdown to an event, sale or product launch, Calendly button if you manage your appointments using Calendly, embed YouTube or Vimeo videos, add a payment link or links to your app download if you have one. Let me take you through the different features one by one. Let's start by adding text or title with text. Let's say the title is about Malunga and paste some marketing copy here. Then we add a button that takes the people to our online shop, malunga.com forward slash shop. If you would like, you can add an icon that represents shopping online from this long list of icons that covers everything you can think of. I will pick a cursor to go with shop now. Click done and let's move this block below about us by clicking the four dots and arrow down. You can move any block up or down this way or delete it by clicking the X. Some of the blocks have extra features like the text blocks where you can change the text justification from left to right or center. And in the latest update, we have added RTL language support to support languages like Arabic and Hebrew. And you do so by adding a text block and click on RTL paragraph icon to change it to right to left languages. We are not going to use this now, so we will delete it. Let's add an image post. We will browse for the image, so let's say we will add a Malunga digital business card image. Let's put the title as Order for Free Personalization, paste the link to the product page and put the price €43.56 in the Price or Call to Action tag that will go over the image and you choose one of the traffic light colors for the tag. You can change this to any call to action. Download now, learn more. Some people design the image post to contain the text on the image itself and do not need this caption. So all they have to do is to delete the title text and click Done. Next is the Image button, which is a nice feature if your brand identity requires your buttons to be in a certain design format. Browse to your designed button. Good size for a button is 1080 by 152 pixels and then enter the URL you would like to link the image to. I personally am not a fan of image buttons, so I'm going to delete it. And next, we will learn how to add an image carousel. Click browse or drag and drop up to 10 images. Wait for it to upload. Type a caption, if needed, then click one. And here you go, your autoflip carousel post. Let's move it below shop now. You can add a circular image. 
This will look exactly like the profile image above and can be used to create sections on the profile. Next on the list is the RSS feed. The RSS feeds are very cool as they auto-update part of your profile content. If your website supports RSS feeds, you can pull the latest news or products and display them as cards or thumbnails or a mix. And you can display up to five of those. Some people use the RSS feed to show the weather forecast if they are in the tourism industry. I will add here the link to our YouTube channel feed and show you how it looks with the mixed layout, cards or thumbnails. I will leave it at 3 and displayed as thumbnails and bring it all the way down. Next is the countdown. Let's say our product launch is on the 14th of Jan at 10am. Select the time zone. We will put the title Malunga Black Core, add the link to pre-order, add the image and add some marketing copy as description. Finally, we will add the call to action, pre-order now. Choose green and click done. And voila, the countdown with the call to action, our image title and description. If you manage your appointment using Calendly, all you have to do is to add it and paste your Calendly link here and type your call to action button. Book your appointment. Let's move things around to tidy up the profile. And now let us embed a YouTube video. You would need to copy the link from the address bar or obtain a share link. Paste it here and click done. This will allow you to play the video from within the profile page. Embedding a Vimeo video works the exact same way. So let's move on to the payment button. A feature that allows you to share your payments link to PayPal, Payoneer or Stripe so people can easily pay you for products, services or even donation for charity. So you paste your payment link here and you can change the call to action to specify what you need the user to pay for. I will write pay here, €43.56. Euros. Last but not least is the app download button. Since Malunga does not have nor require any app, we will use the Uber app as an example. This feature supports links from Apple, Android and Huawei app stores. You just need the links to each of the store, paste them and you are done. Now let's save and publish. Now give your card a tap on your mobile and test every link on it to make sure you inserted the data correctly. And that's all, folks, for now.